amazing crystal clear waters, white sand, and diverse marine life. I'm not talking about the Philippines, although we know that's how it is right now. But I just want to go show you another destination found in the southern east coast of North America in this beautiful nation that is both a Caribbean country and a Central American country. Join me as we explore more of this beautiful destination as I have to the least. Let's go. Belize is found in the southern part of the Yucatan Peninsula in Central America, bordering the countries of Mexico and Guatemala. It is an easy two to six hour flight from any major airports in the United States. Its international airport located in Belize City also serves as a gateway and is 15 to 45 minute flight away to any major tourist destination in the country. We were heading to the town of San Pedro, but we quickly hop on their inter-island plane and little did we know that we were up for an amazing 20 minute flight. So we're now boarded on our plane to San Pedro. Yeah, this is our, no, this is my second or third time riding this type of plane. The flight was quick, calm, but filled with breathtaking views. No need for a drone, because we were the drone. We wanted the flight to last longer, but a much more exciting destination is waiting for us on the ground. Welcome to the Mahogany Bay Resort in San Pedro, Belize. Mahogany Bay Resort and Beach Club is a four-star property in San Pedro, Belize, nestled on a 60 acres of land and is part of the Curio Collection by Hilton. It features British colonial architecture complementing the lush tropical setting of the Belizean Caribbean coast. We arrived just in time for brunch, so we went straight to their restaurant to feast on their local offerings. After lunch, we went straight to check in and few minutes later, we were on our way to our villa thanks to the reliable and helpful resort staff. That's my mom over there. And this is our beautiful villa. It's a quadruplex, so that's one underneath, one at the top, and another one on our left side. So if you guys are in San Pedro, this is a great place to stay. Not only has a great accommodation, but the beach is so beautiful. Wait for the videos. We stayed at the Lower Keeping Suite. 
As you enter, you will be welcomed by the spacious covered veranda, the perfect spot to drink your morning coffee or simply relax any time of the day. Each of the unit is thoroughly cleaned and sanitized. Inside, you will walk into the dining area first, complete with dining wares, an oven, and a coffee maker. A few steps further is a cozy bedroom with two queen-size bed, an ensuite bathroom, and a rear porch that overlooks a saltwater canal and a beautiful resort neighborhood. Remember the beach that I'm excited about? I couldn't wait the next day so I went straight to the Mahogany Base Pier and hop on to their speedboat to find out what the buzz is all about. The Mahogany Bay Beach Club is a private beach exclusive to hotel guests. It is located 12 minutes away from the Mahogany Bay Resort. What's great about this beach is that it's facing inland, protected from the seasonal sargassum buildup. This is the reason why the beach remains calm and crystal clear all year round. Hey guys, so I just got here at a Long in the Bay secret beach or a private beach. And it's a nice, beautiful cove with very clear water. Check that out. It is very beautiful. The water is not that deep. It's very shallow actually. And also, it is crystal clear. And you know what's pretty cool about this resort? All right. Check that out. You see those overwater cabanas? See, we have five of those over there in the property. And then to top it all, you'll be able to sit and relax for your food and explore this beautiful property because the use of the facilities such as kayak where I'm actually on right now is absolutely free and part of your stay. I enjoyed the rest of the afternoon kayaking around the beach club and ended it relaxing on my kayak as I wait for the setting sun. The next day, it was my parents' turn to experience Mahogany Bay's beach club. Of course, I made sure to save them the best spot, so I booked us an overhead cabana. All right. So we're fortunate enough to be able to get a cabanas over water. Hello, Julio, Julio, how are you? Ah, yeah. Uh, number two, they said uh, about an hour until maybe we can go order now food. Yeah, this nice menu, amigo. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Say hello to uh, your friends in the Philippines. How you doing, man? Come to Belize. That's right. It's so beautiful. The people are so friendly, just like Armando. Oh, yeah. Yes. Nice. Everyone, every time since we got here, like the taxi driver, everyone. So. Huh? That's so nice. And, and, everyone, yeah, and everyone's so chill too. <laughs> just like the island. Hey guys, 
So we are spending the day over here at their private beach with my mom and pop and we're relaxing at this overwater bungalow. Gonna be spending the rest of the day over here, feeling relaxing and drinking our favorite drink as we enjoy this beautiful palm blue water crystal sand and beach. Awesome. One more thing you asked for. Well, there's actually one more thing that we need. Food. And finally, it's here. Well, what are you eating? Oh, wow. That's some food. Oh, tacos. Tacos. While my parents relaxed on their cabana, I explored the rest of the coast on board a paddleboard. And lastly, I found a spot on their overhead hammock and perfected the craft of dolce far niente, or the sweetness of doing nothing. <sighs> Don't worry, a more action-packed adventure awaits us the next episode. So for now, sit back and relax with me. Again, this is Julius and this is I Have. Alan Hopping, Adventure, Philippines and Beyond. Goodbye from Belize. Yeah.